you ever have one of those days where you wake up and you are Simba from The Lion King? Yeah, me neither actually. Um, so I was reading through my drawers the other day and I found the weirdest thing. A box of electronic candles. No jokes there, they're made of this waxy plastic and they have an on and off switch and they imitate candlelight. Ooh. I don't know what to think of these. They're one of those sly inventions where you're not really sure if your immediate response should be an appreciative frown or a projectile laugh. I think it just says a lot about the times we live in when even the candles are electronic. But recently I've been taken to putting them on my desk as I work and it's great. It makes me feel like I'm some sort of Shakespearean author who like retires by night to his candlelit study. They actually do seem to increase my productivity as well which is surprising although sometimes I do get a bit too engrossed in the character. It's a bit of a harsh reality to snap back from you know thinking you're this 18th century alchemy pioneer and then realizing you're in fact just a guy in his parents house staying up for a candlelit wank. But I honestly can't work out if these things are advantageous in any way or just completely redundant. On the one hand the flickering is quite nice and authentic, but, you know, on the other hand, it doesn't provide me with a sustainable light source. On the one hand, you avoid wax spillage, but on the other... Am I, am I really gonna... am I gonna list the pros and cons of these candles? I feel like I should have segued a long time ago. I suppose if there's anything else I want to say about these, though, now is the time to get it out. On the bottom of the candle is a picture of a, a crossed-out bin, which I imagine is to say, never throw these away. The, these are brilliant. You must keep them forever. In summary, I give electronic candles 3 out of 5 stars as an invention, because I can't tell if they're brilliant or terrible, so I'm just going to rank them in the middle. They're essentially the Schrodinger's cat of gadgets. I'm going to save you from this peril now. I hope I didn't waste too many minutes of your life there. Unfortunately, if you want those minutes back, I don't offer a returns policy. Sorry. If you happen to enjoy the video, then thumb it up. Um, otherwise, I'll probably I'll try and come up with something a bit more substantial to talk about next week. And if you're not subscribed, I don't blame you. I will see you... Never. Maybe next week's topic will be can openers or something. No, I'll probably, uh, probably just stick with pen lids. I mean, I don't want to get too crazy. Anyway, I'll see you next week. <laughs> I, I, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to make a video about this. I just thought, I, saw, I had these candles like, oh, I'll make a video about it. Um, I'm sorry. What are you made of? Ugh. I've got wax. Uh, is this just a real candle? After doing a bit of research into my own ghostly ways, I came up with three qualities that make up a ghost subscriber. Being a picky liker, being a comment perfectionist, and being made entirely of ectoplasm. Now, I can vouch for having been all these things.